What if time could flow backward even for tiny particles like light? In a surprising quantum experiment, scientists observed a phenomenon called negative time, where light seemed to exit a material before it entered. Imagine throwing a ball into a tunnel and somehow seeing it come out the other side before it even went in. In this experiment, photons, particles of light, interacted with atoms in a way that made them behave as though time moved in reverse. Normally, when photons pass through a material, they excite the atoms, causing electrons to jump to higher energy levels and release the energy after a slight delay. However, in this case, the photons appeared to spend negative time in the atoms, um, flipping our usual understanding of how time works. This effect is linked to something called group delay, which measures how long light seems to pause in a material. The discovery shows that this delay can become negative, meaning the photons don't follow the usual sequence of events. It's like watching a movie scene play out in reverse, where cause and effect don't align as expected. This breakthrough could lead to new ideas in quantum computing and communication, where controlling such time anomalies might unlock powerful technologies. It also reminds us that the universe operates in ways far stranger than our everyday experiences, challenging us to rethink even fundamental concepts like time itself. What if time could flow backward, even for the tiniest particles in the universe? A groundbreaking quantum experiment has demonstrated the concept of negative time, revealing that under certain conditions, light can behave as though it emerges from a material before entering it. This surprising phenomenon was observed by studying how photons interact with a cloud of atoms. Typically, photons excite atoms, causing electrons to jump to higher energy levels. And the energy is later re-emitted with a slight delay. Um, however, in this case, photons appeared to spend a negative amount of time in the excited state, challenging traditional notions of time. This result suggests that the group delay of photons, which measures how long light seems to linger in a material, can become negative. Researchers used advanced techniques to measure phase shifts caused by these photons, confirming that quantum systems can exhibit time anomalies where classical ideas of before and after no longer apply. The discovery has far-reaching implications Understanding negative time could revolutionize how we think about light matter interactions and pave the way for innovations in quantum computing, communication, and material science. It highlights how even fundamental concepts like time can behave in ways that defy intuition, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Negative time has long been a theoretical concept in physics, but recent experiments suggest it may be a measurable phenomenon in quantum mechanics. By studying the interaction of light with matter, researchers observed that photons appeared to emerge from a material before entering it. This discovery challenges classical ideas about time and causality, indicating that under specific quantum conditions, time might not flow in a strictly forward direction the experiment used a specially prepared medium of cold atoms and directed light pulses at it. The atoms, excited by the light pulses, interacted with the photons in ways that altered the light's phase. A separate beam was used to measure the phase shifts caused by these interactions. Surprisingly, the results indicated that photons spent a negative amount of time in the medium, suggesting the light behaved in a way that classical physics cannot explain. Group delay is a measure of how long a pulse of light takes to pass through a medium. In classical physics, this delay is always positive, indicating the time light spends interacting with the medium. In this experiment, however, the group delay turned negative, meaning the light pulse's peak appeared to exit the material before entering it. This does not imply faster than light travel, but highlights quantum interference effects, where overlapping waves create 
an illusion of reversed time flow. The observation of negative time supports the principle of quantum superposition, where particles like photons can exist in multiple states simultaneously. It also highlights the wave-particle duality of light, showing that photons can behave as waves under certain conditions. These findings push the boundaries of quantum mechanics, suggesting that time in quantum systems may not flow uniformly or linearly as it does in classical systems. Um, so the results challenge the classical concept of causality, which assumes that cause always precedes effect. In the quantum realm, interactions like negative time suggest that cause and effect may blur or even reverse under specific conditions. This could have implications for how information is transmitted in quantum systems and how time is understood at the most fundamental levels. Um, understanding and harnessing negative time could lead to advancements in quantum technologies, such as more efficient communication protocols or improved synchronization in quantum networks. Negative time effects could also enhance precision in atomic and molecular measurements, paving the way for breakthroughs in fields like quantum sensing and timekeeping. Um, while the findings are groundbreaking, they also present challenges. The interpretation of negative time depends on quantum weak value formalism, a concept that remains debated in physics. Additionally, the results must be replicated and confirmed in different experimental setups to ensure their validity. The experiment raises questions about the nature of time and space in quantum mechanics. It suggests that time may not be a fixed, one-dimensional property, but could instead emerge dynamically from quantum interactions. This aligns with theories that propose time as a relational property rather than a fundamental dimension. This discovery opens up new avenues for exploring the quantum nature of time. Future experiments could test whether negative time effects occur with other particles or in different materials. Researchers might also investigate how negative time interacts with other quantum phenomena, such as tunneling or decoherence, to develop new technologies or refine quantum theories. Um... The demonstration of negative time in a quantum experiment challenges classical notions of time and causality, opening the door to new possibilities in quantum mechanics and technology. While the findings require further validation, they represent a groundbreaking step toward understanding the deeper nature of time and its role in the universe. This discovery is a reminder that even the most fundamental concepts can evolve as science pushes the boundaries of knowledge. Um, 